In this video we're going to look at how you add and edit the scaffolds within an item in the Schedule It uh, tab. So once you've set up your item specifics in the summary view you can proceed to the scaffolds view. The scaffold view will show you all the scaffolds within the highlighted item and you can navigate between those items to see the different scaffolds by clicking them on the uh, project bar on the left hand side. So to add a scaffold we select a scaffold from the list of scaffold types along the top here. There's two sections to this list, so we can scroll down to see the uh, remaining scaffold types. Um, and essentially we basically choose the scaffold that we want uh, by clicking on it, and that will give us a line on the table. Uh, we can actually add more than one scaffold here. Okay, um, and what this will allow us to do is then set up these scaffolds. So we've got the scaffold type as independent, we can actually change that to one of the other scaffold types if we like. Uh, we can set the scaffold name, so that could be something like that. Um, we can set the elevation name, so in fact if we call this, so this scaffold elevation 1 Okay, we can set qualifications for the individual scaffolds, so that could be things like built off a roof um, or bridging a porch. And then we can set the dimensions, so the length is straightforward, type the desired length in the, uh, in the box there. Um, the height will open a small drop down, which allows us to set the total height of the scaffold. We've got some tick boxes for uh, common lift heights and things like foot lifts, pavement lifts. Um, and there's also a custom option where we can set all the lift heights. Uh, manually, um, as well as a preferred drop height down from the top of the scaffold, uh, which will uh, bring the uh, the top lift down from the top of the elevation, um, and a gable height to uh, to install our table lifts. Okay, there's two um, apply to all buttons here in the middle of that pop up. So apply to all in the scaffold will apply to all of those in the scaffold. Um, the individual scaffold. If we had multiple independents in here, apply to all scaffolds would apply that change to all of them. Coming across to the width, um, we can do the same again. So we can choose our main platform width. We've got an option to set inside boards if required, um, or hop up brackets, and then some tick boxes for whether we're going all lifts boarded, unboarded, top, one, two, you know, three lifts boarded, or custom, again, where you get the option to set each lift individually same with the hop up brackets there's a custom option on there as well and then the final column is your add-ons that allows you to select the common add-ons so we can tick to add a rubber chute or cladding such as sheeting debris netting again there's a custom option there um, and what that will do is set up the scaffold so in the background now we have our kit list generated and our 2d plan style drawings and we can go on and, and price that scaffold Okay, if you're dealing with large numbers of scaffolds uh, in an item, um, there are some mass edits as well. So as well as the apply to all in these drop down boxes individually, the top row along here, same as in the summary, is a mass editor. So we can set the height and the lift pattern for all of the scaffolds in that top height uh, row there. Um, and same with the width, you can see that's updated them there. So if we make them all four and two, for example, and move on, it will update. Okay. Um, the nice thing about Schedule It is it works in conjunction with Model It, so you can consider them two sides of the same coin. So any changes made in here will update the model, and any changes on the model will update your table of scaffolds here. So if we go to our second item, which is blank, and we go into Model It and put in a, a basic scaffold in Model It, when we view that in Schedule It, you can see there's my independent, my four elevations and the dimensions are here and I can actually alter the length I can set the height so if we make this one 12 meters for example in two meter lifts and then we can come across let's put some hop-ups on all of those uh, all of those lifts and then when we go back to model it those bulk changes have been applied so schedule it works great in conjunction with model it if you're tracing off plans or doing perimeter outlines so you can you can start your um, outline in model it jump across to schedule it and do those mass edits
Okay. Um, and in the next uh, schedule it video, we're going to look at some of the copy and paste functions and some of the more advanced scaffold types, things like the temporary roofs and the chimney scaffolds.